Good afternoon and welcome to Webster County Schools Tech Department. Today I will be going through with you how to use your Chromebook at school and at home. Here is a common issue that we see with Chromebooks is that the two pieces of the charger are not put together securely. Please make sure that both parts of your charger are connected securely. Here I am demonstrating how you plug the charger into the Chromebook. Once you plug the charger in, you should see a red light come on to the left of the charger. If you do not see this red light, then you will need to contact our tech department. Upon opening the Chromebook, the screen should come on. If it does not, it may be necessary to click the power button in the top right hand corner or press the space bar in order to get the Chromebook to come on. Once you power on your Chromebook and open it and it turns on, the first thing the Chromebook will do will ask you to sign in using your school email address and the password that was assigned to you. This was given to you when you picked up the Chromebook in the fall. Uh, it is very important that you keep up with this information. A good place to store this would be like in your cell phone, in the notes, or in uh, another device, or just somewhere you can keep it where it will be secure and others will not get a hold of your username and password. If you're using your Chromebook in a new location for the first time, it will prompt you to join a Wi-Fi network. You can simply do this by going down to the bottom right-hand corner, clicking on the Settings button, then you click on the Network, and it will give you a list of available networks. You find your home Wi-Fi network and click on it, and it should prompt you to enter the password if it is not connected before. Once you have successfully connected to your home Wi-Fi network, the following welcome page should come up. Thank you once again for joining us at Webster County Schools Tech Department. Should you have any issues with your Chromebooks that cannot be solved with this video, please contact our Tech Department.